Hi, I'm Heidi, and I'm going to show you how I do my makeup for my Aerith cosplay. Anytime you're doing makeup, you want to start with a clean face, so be sure to wash and moisturize your face before you begin. I like to start with a liquid foundation because I have very dry skin. This is CoverGirl CG Smoothers, but you can use whatever you prefer. I apply the foundation with a concealer brush and smooth it out with a foam beauty blender to get even coverage. Next, I'm using a yellow tinted concealer to counteract the dark circles under my eyes. Yellow is the opposite of purple on the color wheel, so you can use it to cover any purple tone discoloration. This is a waterproof concealer by NYX that I really like. Then I'm using a little bit of setting powder under my eyes to set everything. This is the HD Under Eye Setting Powder from e.l.f. Next, I'm starting to shape my eyebrows with some eyebrow pomade and a small ankle brush. Eyebrows are really important in changing your look, so I like to use a reference image of the character, especially during this step. Aerith's eyebrows are low and close to the bridge of her nose. They're a little bit thicker toward the front, so I'm doing my best to replicate that shape. It's up to you how much you want to deviate from your natural eyebrow shape, but for me, this is one of the most important steps in really nailing a character resemblance. Once they're drawn on, I'm using a clean mascara wand to blend and soften them so they look a little more natural. Moving on to eyeshadow, I have applied a primer and now I'm starting with a very light nude eyeshadow on my brow bone and at the center of my eyelids. Then I'm working my way toward the darker shades at the crease, keeping with a palette of matte brown tones. My main goal here is to contour my eye socket a little bit, so use whatever colors look the most natural for your skin tone. Now I'm just cleaning up under the eye with some Bare Minerals Powder Foundation. I also apply it to the rest of my face, focusing on any other shadows or blemishes that I might want to cover. Now it's time for eyeliner. I'm using the Amaterasu Liquid Eyeliner Pen, which I really enjoy, but I've also gotten good results with gel or cake eyeliner applied with an angled brush. I have hooded eyelids, so getting the perfect shape is kind of tricky. I'm basically trying to elongate my eye shape a little bit and give the illusion that the outer corner has more lift. However, everybody has their own unique eye shape and there are a lot of great tutorials out there to help you figure out what shape is best for you. Next, I'm adding just a little bit of contouring to my jawline and cheekbones. I have to be very conservative with contouring for two reasons, mainly because I'm so pale that any shadows I add to my face tend to look extremely artificial. In addition to that, my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose are already very pronounced, so exaggerating them with contouring very quickly gets into overkill territory. I mainly just want to frame the shape that's already there to make sure that I won't look washed out on camera, but you can do as much contouring as you need or want. Then I'm applying a little bit of blush along my cheekbones and blending it out. Aerith is very soft and classically feminine, so that's the look that I'm going for here. This shade is by Ben Nye and it's called Victorian Rose. Next I'm applying mascara, which I like to do before I put falsies on so that they stay clean. This is Mega Plush Volume Mascara from Maybelline. Now it's time for fake eyelashes, my favorite. I like to use dramatic eyelashes that are more full toward the outside of the eye to get that anime look. I'm also applying false eyelashes under my eye. This is just a personal preference because I love playing with eyelashes, so you can totally skip this step if you want to. These are the Real Nude Number no. 5 style by Dolly Wink. And that's it for the makeup look. We still have a ways to go with the hair before I'm ready to get into costume. The wig I have for Aerith is very back heavy, so it puts a lot of strain on my hairline. I don't have a lot of hair there for it to grip into, so I'm pinning my braids up around my head to provide a better anchor for the wig. Once my hair is all up, I'm using a mesh wig cap to hold everything in place. Then I'm adding a second wig cap to tighten and compress the hair around my head. Now I'm very carefully pulling the wig onto my head, trying to line up the center of the hairline with my forehead. This is a lace front wig, so I could use some wig tape or spirit gum to adhere it to my skin, but I'm skipping that step for the purposes of this video. Now I'll need to do a little shaping to the bangs, which is just a normal part of wig maintenance. First, I'm lifting sections and teasing the underside just a little bit to make them more perky. Then I'm using hairspray to direct the strands backwards and to help the ends sit nicely. This wig was styled by Melinda Chan, who is a master of all things wig related, and I'll put a link in the description below so that you can check out the rest of her work. That's it for my Aerith look! I hope this video was helpful and gave you some insight into how I make character decisions with makeup. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and subscribe for new cosplay videos every Wednesday. Thanks for watching!